Hi you guys, I'm gonna go live and I'm gonna save this video too in case you can't catch us. I'm going to be giving you a preview of new products. So I'm just going to get everything lined up while we wait for everybody to come on and give them a chance to swing by. But if you're watching, just say hi, let me know that you're here. Um, I'm really excited to show you some of our new Christmas products launching tonight at 8 p.m. It's going to be so good. We have such good products. I'm gonna give you a little tour of them, up close look. Um, you'll get some first looks, what else? Um, I'm gonna give you some decorating and some styling help, some out of the box Christmas ideas. So I'm gonna start in just a second. I'm gonna let everybody come on. Um, let me know you're here, say hi. Um, we're gonna do a Christmas product tour. Little preview for tonight, everything launches at 8 p.m. I've got a lot of really cute things. If you like gingerbread, um, we've got some new greenery. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna let everybody get a chance to get on. I'm also going to save this and I will mention it throughout for anybody who's jumping on and swinging by because I don't want you to miss a thing. And then if you wanna go back and see anything up close, you can see that too. So I will link my YouTube channel because I'll save this there and then you can go through it and watch it all there. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be moving around as well because I have some table settings that I want to show you over here. I'm going to do a little demonstration for a really cute Christmas table setting. So let me know you're here. Say hi. I'm excited to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, you can let me know. I'm really happy to give you some up close looks and details. We're gonna get started in just a second. So I'm so excited, honestly. Um, and if you're new, my name is Missy and this is Honeybrook. This is my home decor store. And I'm really excited about having you hanging out. I haven't done this in a little while just with everything being so crazy, but we're gonna have fun. And I love when you guys ask questions and talk and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and we're gonna do um, the Christmas doormat and it's gonna be backwards so that I can see all of your comments and things. It says we're like really into Christmas and it's such a pretty size and it goes really perfect for layering with a couple um, doormats. So if you have um, like a really pretty knitted one, you could put this one on top. So I really love a layered look at the door. And I figured that we'd start at the front door, you know, just like we're opening the door to Christmas. So here's the front and the back. So honestly, if you did want a like plain doormat, if it wasn't Christmas, you could just flip it around, but it's really pretty. Here's how thick it is. I love that the wording is very crisp. So again, it says we're like really into Christmas. And I thought that this one was really cute for all of us crazy Christmas girls. I love this one so much. Okay, so that's coming. And if you missed it, we're launching everything tonight at 8 p.m. I also want to mention, because you might see it a lot, I love using books in my decorating. And I wanna show you two of my favorite ones. So I love this made for living book because the gray is the prettiest. Um, you could find these at any bookstore, but I just wanted to mention since I've been using them a lot in my pictures, but lots of inspiration in them, really pretty to look and read. And then the Kinfolk Home, and they make quite a few of these books and you can pick which ones you like. They have gardening ones as well that I really like. So these are really pretty neutral books, or you can use some art books, which you've seen me use and we've talked about in the past. Um, okay, I'm trying to decide what we should do next. I have these Santa mugs here that I could show you. These are already launched on the site. They came with last week's launch, but I figured that I'd show you an up close look on our live video. And they're really cute. They're a set. Um, you buy them individually, so you could get whichever set you like. So this is the Smiling Santa, and this is the Winking Santa. And they have a cute little bell down here. But these are my best sellers. Um, I'm really excited that they're in stock right now. We had them last year and 
they were definitely a favorite. I love the vintage style and look to those. Another big theme that we're talking about right now, gingerbread. Who does gingerbread decorating? I love finding ornaments each year that you can collect from Honeybrook. They are so cute. And you're gonna see behind me, I love adding them to my stockings as embellishments. So I'm going to give you an up close look here. Oh Hang on. All right. You know how it is. Okay, so we've got some bells. These are the new bells and I had them last year and I couldn't get any more and I did not order enough. This year, I've got the bells and they're so cute. Let me get you a close look. So why I like them, they're gold and they're very sturdy and I love the texture on them along with the braiding on the rope and how they're tied. It's really pretty. They've got a little bit of a ring to them. Nothing crazy. Then we have the stockings. Oh my gosh. And they're chunky knit. I've got them stuffed up in here so that you can see how they'll look when you put some uh, goodies for Christmas in them. We love stockings at our house. It's funny. I have a tradition and Alex has a tradition. In Alex's family, stocking stuffers isn't what it is to me. So when I first met Alex and I had my first Christmas with him, we're going on eight Christmases ago. They are gag gifts and you make fun of each other with your gifts. So you get a stocking and it will say to Missy from so-and-so. And, -so. and it, it's like, it really pokes fun at who you are or what you like and you can't take it seriously. And I've never laughed harder in my life than that first Christmas. It was so good. These stockings, how much are they? Um, I've got to check. I think that they're 32 and they're chunky knit. And I went with quality. I didn't want these to feel like you weren't getting a good quality. So they're, you've got this little lip here and it ha it's fully lined. So like I said, I've got them stuffed right here right now, but it's fully lined. So you can't see, like if you put your goodies in it on Christmas, you won't be able to see inside, which I love. And they're a little bit slouchy. You get this knitted, um, which we call this? Uh, uh, I mean, you just like hook it on wherever you want. You know what I mean? A loop. <laughs> but they're really cute. I love them. And then at my house, stockings growing up were always things that you need um, or like chocolate. So you get some little chocolate bits. You'd get like a toothbrush, toothpaste. My mom would always roll up a magazine in them. So I always loved getting like the Food Network magazine or the um, Country Living magazines. She always knew what I wanted. So what you do, I'm going to show you how I like to layer them. I also like mixing and matching stockings too. So I'm just going to add that. I do like collecting stockings. So I put them on my hook. I'm going to grab my bells. This little detail is one of my favorite things. I love the bells. I'm, I just, they're just so cute. So then I hook them on and then I just bring them forward like this. And I'll give you an up close look at this too. I'm going to move this closer. I'm just going to put this right here. Okay, so see, I put the bells back here. I move them forward and just fluff them up a little bit, but they look so cute. Then I'm going to go in and add some of my gingerbread. So embellishments are some of my favorite things. The bells are... The bells are 29 and all free shipping. So I love that. Then you get your little ornaments. They come in four different styles. Look at the little tree. And they're a little glitzy. And then I have different names. So this is the tree. This is the ornament. This is the snowflake. And then over here, I've got the gingerbread house. 
And then I go and just add a little bit of extra something to your stockings. And you could even put these with your um, name tags. So if you have stocking tags, they look really cute all together. Can you imagine like a little name tag? I've got to get some. Um, but they are just so cute and it's so easy. So just the stocking, the bells, and then a little embellishment. And I use different embellishments each year. So it's such an easy, fun way to add to your Christmas decorating. Um, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, which I like. So you can change them out constantly. When it comes to Christmas decorating, some people say like, oh, I, I, I'm good, I have enough. But for me, I love collecting Christmas decor. And so I love when they're little embellishments that you can change and move because you could put them in, on your tree or obviously. Um, I do wanna show you these chunky gingerbread houses real fast. Okay, so there's two. I'm calling this the arch door. And then this is the rectangle door. What do we think of them? You get like all the sides here. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are loving it too. They're chunky. See how thick they are? Look at the little roof. These, I mean, I don't want to pick favorites, but this is one of my favorite launches. So you can pick between which of the two doors that you want. These will have free shipping as well. Oh my gosh. Here's a whole total 360 view. Ugh, I just want you to know how chunky and heavy and sturdy they are. This wood is so nice. And that's really something that I look for. They are heavy. They are very nice quality. I love finding you the best, cutest little things. I'm Lori, I'm so glad you like them. Oh, I'm excited. They're so good. And then look at the sides too. How cute would they be up here? Like styled. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put them up here. Oh my gosh. And then I have these candlesticks. I've got a couple collections of candlesticks for you tonight. And they are precious all together. I love the houses so much. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna put these up here too for you to look at. Little ornaments. And you can buy these ones separately as well. So again, these are little wood houses. They're very heavy, sturdy, solid wood. These are knit stockings. These are metal bells. And the thing with metal bells, I really like when they're made nice. And these bells, let me grab one. Okay, so I was showing you up close. They aren't like some of the other ones that I've seen in the store aren't as nice of a metal, if that makes sense. But these are like the prettiest textured metal little bells. And they have the cute little ring. And I, I just, I love them. I love the little loop. Okay, up next we have candles. And I've actually been testing these candles out with my in-person shoppers. This one I think is Alex's favorite. It smells like Christmas. It smells like a Christmas tree. This one is warm and cozy. I really like this one. So this is our first Christmas candle. I will have some more. Crossing my fingers they come tomorrow, but this is our first scent and it's a, let me read it to you. Orange, cinnamon, clove, and pine. And you very much get the pine scent. Okay, another thing. I'm gonna show you something from last week's launch that's already on the site. And to me, it feels like anthropology. I'm just gonna say it. Um, look at the salt and peppers. They're hand painted. I love that you can tell that too. And they are, I don't want to say wonky, but they aren't per, like a perfect match. Do you see how they're a little bit different? I just love that. And then you can also flip them around and then use them as little decorations in your decor in case you didn't want the salt and pepper on them. Like, I don't know, maybe I'd put them on a shelf like this instead of on my table. 
and they add such a cute little color and I feel like the little woodland forest kind of a vibe is very in and I'm here oh my table moves and I'm here for it um let me think we've got our candles let me do the doormat one more time since more of you have jumped on this is the doormat we started with this first actually and it says we're like we're like really into Christmas and I figured that this was really cute for all of us since we are very into Christmas here and it's a very nice thick one and then I said that you can flip it around so if you didn't want to have to use it for Christmas you just wanted a little neutral side you could so it's a nice size and a perfect size for layering on your doors and what's really perfect is because it's black lettering you could do buffalo check surround and then put this on top you could do neutral you could do red green so any kind of christmas that you're into this doormat pulls into that which is fun i'm going to show you another thing that's already on the site that i love and it's this gigantic pillow and it says ho ho and i love this one so much i brought it back this year here's it up close you can see it's got a little bit of texture around here perfect for my girls who like red and you can unzip it comes with the insert you can unzip and then put the insert on a different pillow if you want so it comes just like this and it's so pretty and full this would definitely go along your couch layered with some other pillows so it's huge i hope you can tell it's huge this one goes on your couch. It would not go on a chair unless you had like a big chair. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. I love this one. So that's already on the site. Let me show you another brand new little addition for tonight. And then I'm going to share why I like them. So these trees are a set of two. They're little knit trees in a set. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so you can fluff them however you want, which is so nice because I like fluffing it and having my decor look really good. And I love them for in your kitchen, on a shelf, in your little vignettes, in the bathroom. Just look at the knit. I love it. They're so pretty. These ones are cool because for my girls who don't have a lot of storage, you take them off and you can fold them down. And then it just, it's ready for next year. It is good for your bed. I'm so glad you mentioned backtracking. The pillow is perfect for your bed. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you said that. It's genius. Yes, thank you. Pillow is so good for your bed too. Um, back to the trees. They are awesome for storage. I get asked how I store my bottle brush trees year to year. Let me see, I'm gonna pull one out. Okay, so these are the pink bottle brush trees. I put them in a container with each other just laying flat like this and then I try not to smush the sides. However, you can take a glass, fill it with warm water, and then you dunk in the tree and then you go like this and then you take it out and then fluff your trees, they'll look good as new. So if they do get crushed, fun little tidbit there. So these ones won't get crushed. You just fluff them up and they're ready to go. I just love how dainty they are and how you can pull them into any style, but I was mostly thinking about the girls who like neutral. I love. Okay, so I'm gonna move this stuff because I'm gonna show you what comes next. So let me move our little, I love them. I love them. We have more greenery. I have an 18 inch wreath. Oh my gosh, so cute, so full. And you can make it as full as you want by pulling out each of the branches. This looks good on any kind of a hook. And it looks amazing with your favorite art for Christmas. So you have to come see how cute it looks up close. 
pine cones. We got our little red berries and it's a little frosted if you could see. So pretty, I love. Okay, so another thing I've got, this is the 12 inch. So it's the same style. We've got a 12 inch for the difference. Another thing with stockings, let me just move some things around. I also love using wreaths on stockings. So you can also add it. I mean, it looks a little quirky, but here we go. So you also can layer greenery. I think it looks silly with this. Okay, there you go. And then if you wanna keep it like really plain, maybe you could take out the bells and just do the stocking. So this is what I do a lot of when I'm trying to figure out what to show you. I just plug things in and out and see how they look and maybe I don't like it and then I'll put something else in. But these are really pretty. I love the greenery. I got a, a special request from one of my customers to bring these style wreaths in. And I like that I can give you two. And then the other thing I wanna tell you, we have not gotten into gift wrap this year. These are stunning on gift wraps. And I'll show you, I did it last year where you tie a package and then put one of these on top and it's stunning. Also, let me see, I'm trying to find where I put, just a second. Okay, I'm going to be bringing back my handmade dried oranges and the dried oranges look so pretty inside of the wreath. So you can add them. And I love dried oranges. I think it adds such a pretty pop. So you're going to see a lot of that this year, just like I did last year. So I'm working on making those. They take a couple weeks for me to dry out. So you will see those soon. So we have our new greenery. And then I've got a cute, I've got some cute vintage mugs down here. And it's a little snowman. I always love having hot cocoa, coffee, tea mugs options. And it looks vintage. Then we have, we have a reindeer. Isn't he cute? This is his little scarf as the handle and he's got a red nose. And then last, I wanna show you, I have the Santa, hang on. So you could have like a pair of Santas. I think it would be cute if you had kids and they could each have their own little Santa mug with hot cocoa, or if you like the snowman or reindeer. And then real quick, I hope I'm doing okay. Real quick, I wanna show you how to make a tablescape. Okay, this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, this is also new. And if you caught it in my stories, this is a Santa plate. He's got a red nose, little textured. So cute, I love it. This is what I do. I'm starting with, you could use any placemat that you have. This is just a woven one. I have my 12 inch wreath. I put that down like this. Then I take my plate. This is an ironstone one. I love, love. And if you don't know me yet, I love collecting ironstone. And I love sharing it with you too, so you can expect some of those restocks. I love doing napkin rings and napkins. <clears throat> so cute. Okay, so next, oh, I forgot this stuff. I take any old book 
open it up to the middle so it sits open. I put that like that. Can you see this okay? Let me see. Then I put the plate and I embellish with some of my orange slices and some of, I just kind of tuck them in. So that's my little place setting and it looks so fancy and it looks like you spent forever making them, but really you just layered your favorite things. I'll share a better picture of that on my stories and on the feed. I have a video I'm sharing that you could save if you want to watch this for later, but I love the idea of layering different elements. You've got some texture in the greenery down here, plates. And one of my best tricks is using the open book, which is just so fun and different. But this is the new little guy. You can get him tonight. All of this will be available tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I decided to do a night restock because last time we did an afternoon restock. So I like switching up the times because I know everybody needs a different time and I just love being able to change it up for you depending on where you live. So tonight it's 8 p.m. and you can get all this new stuff. I showed you some of the stuff from last week. I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to show you while I'm looking around here. Let me know if you want to see anything up close that I didn't show you. I wanna show you the stockings again. They're so cute. I'll say it a million times, but I really had a focus on quality so that you could get really nice things. Is that so cute? Oh my gosh. It's fully lined, like I said, and it just feels so soft and nice and I little bobbles on it. You can see such good cozy texture. Let me know if you want to see anything up close. If I miss anything, should I go back? Lots of little gingerbread displays for tonight. The bells. I'm going to be doing a lot of gift wrap coming up too. So if you like gift wrap, I have some really fun ideas that are different. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think. We've got some cute trees. Um, I don't know. I think these are my favorite of the night. And I can get enough for everybody. The problem I'm going to mention while I have you, I talked about this in stories yesterday. I made a mistake and I did not order enough of these. So I think these are going to be the things that go fast tonight because I just love them so much and they're really cute. So I didn't order enough. I cannot restock them that I know of. So we're gonna get that figured out. But each year I love getting a different gingerbread assortment, cookie kind of looking things so that each year you could collect them. I love collecting. I love being able to have something special that you can grab each year and you can add on to, you know, stockings and bells and ornaments. You know, I just thought I want to show you the dough bowl and our best-selling ornaments and they are darling this is the green set you can see there's a tiny variation in color um, let's see we've got these two different styles and I have these in five different colors. So depending on what kind of Christmas decorator you are, I have them. I have pink, red and green, muted red and green, and orange that looks really pretty with the orange slices. Um, I think that's it. Um, it's on the website. These are already there. They're from our last week's launch and I got enough to supply us. So I'm excited. I wanted to make sure that if you wanted one, you can. The white ones, I'm so glad that you asked. I can't get any white ones. I don't have any white ones right now. I'm hoping that they restock. I don't have white ones, but
but I do have green, red, and green, muted red and green, and orange and pink. Those are my colors that I have right now. I love them. So listen, I want to tell you, this is a set of 36. I can get pre-strung mercury glass ornaments, but I think you get about 12 of them and it costs more money than the set of 36. So I like to get them where you can get a bag of this and then string them, put them on packages, whatever you like and have that option to get the best bang for your buck, if that makes sense. So if you do wanna string them, it, I've done it before, it's so quick. You just get a piece of twine, tie them on and you can choose how many you want, how close you want them, all those things. So I've got them in a dough bowl right now, but they're so cute and darling. This is one of my favorite things and I love this color. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I got to give you a tour of everything, an up close look, the little table demonstration. I am going to save that in a reel so that you can save it and come back and watch that. Um, I'm also going to be showing you different demonstrations with the um, stockings, bells, and embellishments. That's something that I'm going to be big on this year. The little details, the special details, and switching things up and maybe making decor that you have work in a new way or maybe making it so that you can add something new and then make what you already have fresh again. So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing this year and I'm really excited. I'm so thankful for you guys coming on, checking it out, seeing some up close looks. If you have any last minute questions or you wanna see anything up close, let me know. I'm going to be on here for just another second, but um, I'm really excited. I'm gonna save this to YouTube. And again, it's tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm really excited. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy and excited. And we're going to have fun. So I'm going to get back to packing orders. I'm going as fast as I can. I have Alex back there right now. Um, so we're just going to get back into it, get ready for tonight. I think I have all my pictures finished. Um, I just have all like the things going through my head. So, all right, I'll save this and then you can watch it later and I will post that link on my story so that you can get back to it. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys, I'm so excited to take care of you, get your happy mail out to you. Um, if you haven't ordered from me before, I'm really excited to show you how we do it here and all my loyal regular girls. I'm so thankful for you guys swinging on, stopping by and hanging out with me. So I'll see you later.